we act like we live on every acre of land that we own. What that enables us to do is have every employee look at our farms and, and our uh, acreage like they own it. And it gives them personal ownership in each acre to make the right decisions as an owner in the land and a steward in the land. We are nothing without our land and our people. And we're always looking at ways to improve our land. Some of the programs that we currently are focusing on are soil replenishment and biologics, water management systems, which could be from using recycled groundwater to rainwater collection, and continuous propagation of new and current varieties on our farms so that there's always something to renew. We own farms in Washington, Oregon, California, and Florida, and our business is based on if we take good care of the land, the land takes good care of our business. With the idea that if the soil's happier, we're gonna to have to use less herbicides and fungicides and get better production out of our crops. Sustainability itself comes in a lot of different um, flavors, if you will. There's the land ownership piece, there's the land management piece, how you treat the land, and there's also sustainable business practices around employees. You know, at Continental, we're focused on building a hundred year company. Um, so the decisions we're making you know, when we plant a brand new tree, if you will, a seedling, you know, that's a 50 year business decision that we're making. It, it's, it's not to make our numbers for the quarter. It's not to make our numbers for the year. It, it's to make numbers that are gonna be uh, uh, felt generationally uh, down the line. Jim is a very passionate person and very enthusiastic in everything he does. So I think that's definitely a huge part of what has made him successful. Some of the keys to Jim are, he's incredibly passionate, um, he's got a lot of energy, and uh, he's a risk taker. And I think to be successful, you have to be a risk taker, not afraid to sort of stick your neck out a little bit and go for it. Um, and it's worked out for him.